150 here. Um, just thought I'd give a little bit of a update and also talk about what the next project is here and see if I can uh, offer anybody a shared experience. Um, this area here which you're looking at on the baseboard is going to be <clears throat> the town scene. Um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, taking a track down from this point here uh, and that track will be coming down into this area. Um, and what it effectively will be, will be a track running down somewhere down there with a house, houses or terraced houses running along this area. Uh, these terraced houses will be elevated on wood um, around about um, four centimeters high. And the reason for that is to make an embankment and a road. So it'll look like the railway is, it, it, the railway track itself is in a, in a, in a cutting. And this will uh, give the houses an elevated view. This is uh, basically the, um, gonna be a part of the scene of Rail 150 where the uh, cavalcade of 1975 ran from Shildon Wagon Works down towards the station. Um, and this will be a station, a part of uh, looking at Station Street. There'll also be a bridge in this area as well, uh, which will go over the top of the railway lines and offer pedestrian traffic. I'm also going to have to put another bridge, which wasn't uh, wasn't around in those days, just to get over these tracks here. Um, so that'll be not typical of the scene, but it'll just be necessary to make the layout work. And as I said, I'm not trying to make a complete um, representation of that. It's not, a, it's not a copy of the town where this took place. It is just a representation. Um, so it has to be more for pragmatic reasons than anything else. So what I'm going to do is just talk about some of the uh, scenery that is going to be available to me, or what I'm going to be using. Um, what I'm going to be using is scale scenes. Uh, scale scenes, terraced houses to make this scene. Um, some are going to be scratch built, some are going to be uh, from the kit itself. This is a house which I built previously from a scale scenes kit. It is their terraced house. Uh, it has interior detail windows. The roof is not on either of the chimney pots because I'm going to put the roof, trying to make the roof not just um, meet up at the edge here but try to make it so it looks like a complete terrace rather than gluing them together. So the roof I'll put on uh, in the last bit and won't have them looking as if they're separate houses. I'll build a few, a few terraces together and mount it on a baseboard. Uh, looking at the property itself the detail is quite quite good. Well, the detail is excellent, to be honest. Let's, let's be honest. I mean, they do a good job. Uh, there's bookshelves and carpets. Stuff which you're never going to see, but you feel, when it's on the kit, you feel obliged to put it on anyway. Uh, there's a back scene to it as well. Uh, there's drain pipes on it, which are just there. Um, and there's also a yard and a wall around it. Whether I'll use all that or whether I'll have to scratch build stuff is yet to be seen. So uh, this terraced house will be running in this particular area. And there'll be 80 centimetres of terraced houses running down towards here with a engine shed at the end. Um, the engine shed is built. Now this isn't scale scenes, so this is Wordsworth. As you can see, I'm a bit of a fan of uh, uh, card models. This is almost finished. What you have here is the office and water tanks. Uh, something, something I'm not particularly keen on is the the fire buckets printed onto the side there. They look, they do look printed. Uh, may, maybe what I'll do is try to find some fire buckets and stick some on to hide that. I've weathered it a little bit. Not that successfully, I haven't finished it. I'm gonna put a bit more weathering on. It was far too pristine for an engine shed. Um, at the front, I'm gonna to have to make some changes. Uh, there'll be smoke all over the front of that, uh, black, black smutty areas. So that'll be done as well. There are interior details to be put in here also with toolboxes and various other bits and pieces. I've changed the front of it a little bit with the uh, coinings. That is the stone areas which are covering the brick, the corner areas. That comes from a scale scenes kit which I put on the top to hide the corners. I don't like exposed edges like that there at the top. 
So the coinings, if you put them on, really um, hide those and put a, puts a little bit of depth on the building itself. Um, so there'll be a terrace house running down there toward, and there'll be a pub at the end called the Mason's Arms, which are in the middle of the building. That'll be at the end just before the railway track. There'll be a crossings going over the railway track um, and leading off to a view at the back, which will be mounted on plywood. And the view will be of Shilden Wagon Works, which is pretending to be in the distance. The um, railway, which is, which is running there, will be behind that scene and you won't be able to actually uh, see that along the back edge. It'll be hidden slightly. Um, and it'll have, well, it may be hidden, I don't know, it, it, it's for me to decide at that point. So what I want to do is make a video today just explaining what was going to take place next on the layout. Um, and what it is effectively going to be is an 80 by 30 centimetre diorama showing a terrace mounted on, um, on wood to raise it up above the, above the layout, above the track bed here. Um, the wood I'm going to use is uh, a sheet of um, 10 centimetre, is it 10? 12 centimetre ply. Um, and then there'll be the houses will be on top of blocks of wood to raise that above. So it has um, a road and some curbs and it'll look like it has depth as well. Papi Mashi will be used to build the embankment down. Uh, what I'll do is actually um, put some wood underneath the houses now and let me show you exactly what I mean by that before I go any further. So let me just pause the video for a moment and I'll come right back. Okay, so um, what I've done is put the wood down. The uh, white wood is 20 centimeters to be cut and the pine is um, 22. So that gives a total of uh, 42 millimeters, 4.2 centimeters. Um, and that will be the road section where the, the bus is, which is to scale. It's, an, um, it's a north to 76 um, scale, double O. Um, in front of the house will be a pavement and we will use wood to build the road section down here and the whole diorama. The white wood is to be cut to size and there'll be another embankment going down to the railway line behind. So it'll look like there's a terraced house there. Um, I think in total there will be five terraced, uh, five houses, um, five blocks of houses. So that'll be ten houses in total. There'll be lights put in the house as well to give them some reality. I think they're a little bit more realistic. Some greenery, um, weathering, and a fence running up from the railway line. Well, from the top of the embankment, there'll be a stone wall with a fence on top of it. Uh, so this will come down to there and just above. So um, hiding that will be the, um, the wall and the fence. So you won't see the side of the bus as it is there. The footpath will be in front of the houses here and probably around about as wide as this ruler. It's going to be made quite small, not prototypical, just to give an effect rather than true to scale. Um, I'm a bit playing with space here. Um, but that's, that's what it's going to take place. I'm building a scale scenes house at the moment uh, to match this one. and they, they take time to do. They take time to cut out, they take time to assemble, to glue, uh, to do things like the curtains and the windows. And to be honest, it's easier, to, I think, to buy one of these houses, but you, you do get a very high quality um, kit and it does look good. And unlike the Metcalf models, which I am a big fan of, I haven't used, but I've seen them and I really like them. Uh, the only thing I have criticism I would have the Metcalf is that they have uh, the edges visible and I would have to do something like that, just like I've had to do with the Wordsworth kit. So this is the space I've got to deal with. There is a a ruler here which uh, kind of shows you the size of what I've got and that is a meter ruler so that is a area which I can put in the, the townscape or part of the townscape comments would be appreciated if anybody any, has any suggestions how to deal with such a tight space and still make it fit I think it's a reasonably large area to work with I've seen people work with smaller areas um, I'm just going to try to make it, yeah, as I said before, not 
absolutely to scale so I can squeeze a few more things in. It, it may look a bit cramped, I don't know, but we'll, I'll, I'll keep it all a bit loose and won't fix it completely down until I'm, until I'm happy with it. So this, from here the road will come over, there'll be a bridge there, which will then allow me to tie into the other scene here, leading into the scale scene station, which is to be re slightly repaired and modified. This I haven't started yet. I said I was going to do two more of these station canopies. They will go here. They haven't been started yet. Coming around and around and around, this will then go into a countryside scene with a tunnel there. There's a station building there which isn't going to remain, but this will be the countryside scene leading off at the end there where you can see the ruler. There's one more table to be put up and that will be leading onto a fiddle yard or um, some other type of storage. Eventually it's going to be a multi-storey layout. There'll be a second layout coming up from, rising up from here, rising, 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 rising in the background, and then coming across to add a little bit more interest to the layout and more, some more usability. So that's what the plan is. Yeah, I'd really appreciate any comments about what people have experienced with the uh, scale scenes, any ways to speed things up. I think the only thing I can, I can think of doing is regularly changing the blade on the knife. Um, maybe not putting as much detail in it because to be honest, who's going to be in, once the roof is on there, is anybody going to be peering through those windows? I'm spending a lot of time putting de interior detail in. Maybe on a couple of the houses, but certainly not at the back, I don't think, where they won't be seen. The only way I'd be able to see that is if I lit it up and then put a camera looking into the buildings. Um, that's, so yeah, my patience on that rem remains to be tested. But that's what I've got at the moment. Um, incidentally, I have been in the England recently and I did purchase two um, locomotives from um, Durham Trains of Stanley. One is this excellent um, Hornby Q6 which has been on the layout and had a run around. I'm going to do um, not a review in it, I'm just going to show that in more detail. And also a, a 1976 Duchess of Sutherland which I wanted when I was a child. I got the Albert Hall and as soon as I got the Albert Hall I also wanted this. I just, I just fell in love with the colour of it. Um, and I remember as a, as a young boy, sort of just being very, very impressed with this locomotive. It is um, tender driven, but it's a very, very, it's been serviced by Durham Trains of Stanley. They serviced the whole locomotive for £12, but they didn't charge that on, put that onto the sales price. I got a very good price on this of £35 for a service locomotive. And if, if the power is still on, you should be able to see how smooth that is. Bit of a jerky start, but um, it can really crawl. And what I'll probably do is do a close up of that at a later date. The camera's going crazy because of the sun, the sunlight is changing outside. But yeah, I'm happy with the purchases. And I'll do a loco, um, not review, I think there's enough reviews around and unboxings and various other things, but just to look at. Maybe do a 1970s uh, running session just showing how these old locomotives, 41 years old, still performing very, very well. It might be quite interesting for people to take a look at, the, uh, look at these and have a nostalgic trip down memory lane. But yeah, very good slow speed performance. Okay, so that's in the future. Um, next thing, layout over there, the diorama. Any suggestions, I'd be keen to listen to. Um, really appreciate any comments on that. I know there's a lot more experienced people out there than me. Uh, people who've tackled the same things before. The wiring is still to be done. You can probably see that hanging down, um, but I'll do that uh, when, I, when I've got the conduit, which is coming soon. So until then, I'm going to continue with the town scene. Okay. 
Next video will be me looking at this terrace house in more detail, assembling it and just showing you some idea of how, we, how I'm doing that. But for now, uh, enjoy your modelling and speak to you soon.